Hooray, mortgage payment, so fun. All right, so we have we can afford 800 per month mortgage payment. So right away I know a few things. I know the D value is 800. The 800 per month is the uh, K is the number of compounding periods in a year. So there's 12 months in a year. So K is 12. Now we have a 30 year loan. So that N 30 years, 8% interest. That's not good. Uh, so that will be R equals decimal of 8% is 0 0.08. All right, how big of a loan can you afford? So we have a loan right here. So automatically we're down in the bottom row. And we wanna know how big of a loan can you afford? So find P0. Well, the first one solved for P0, so we're gonna go with the first one. So circle that so you don't uh, make a mistake and copy down some other formula. P0 equals D times one minus parentheses one plus R over K raised to the negative NK power divided by R over K. Okay, 800 times one minus parentheses one plus 0 0.08 divided by, divided by something K is 12 raised to the negative 30 times 12. Okay, divided by R 0 0.08 divided by 12. Okay, so let's go ahead, type this into the calculator. We'll start out with the 800 times parentheses, one minus parentheses one plus. Again, I'm using the Desmos calculator because mainly it has an undo function and I can move the cursor around. If I maybe that should have been a 10 instead of a one, I can just move the cursor and type something different. So in my, in my opinion, this is one of the best calculators to use uh, because it just works well and it's convenient. Okay, so 0 0.08 divided by 12, and then close that parenthesis. A to the B is, use an exponent. You have to do parentheses when it's not a simple exponent. So this exponent is negative 30 times 12. Close the exponent parentheses. Close the next parentheses. Now, divided by 0 0.08 divided by 12. Now, it's okay that this 800 is out here. You can uh, force it to be up in the numerator, just like that, and that's totally fine. Uh, especially if you're paranoid about if things are typed in correctly, you may want it to look just like your paper right here. Okay, so there we go, 109,026. And of course, because pennies are important, 79, we'll round it to 0 0.80. Okay, so that is the loan amount. All right, how much total money will you pay the loan company? Well, if we got this loan, total payment, we did $800 per month. We did 30 years somewhere, yeah, and it's 30. So, well, that's per month. So there's 12 months and one year times 30 years. All right, we're doing this because the months cancel, the years cancel, and so our units are dollars. And this will be 800 times 12 times 30, and the units will be dollars. You can type that in the calculator, it's not hard to do. That's that number. Uh, how much is interest? Well, interest is the difference. Unfortunately, you'll pay a lot more than the loan's going to be, and the difference between those two numbers 
is how much the bank makes, which is that 178,000, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, forget about that number. I'll just make you cry.